peeps and welcome back to Jazz's Angel Number Tarot. It is a different vibe over here because today we're tapping into the sign of Pisces for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Wherever you have the Pisces placement in your chart, you can apply this to. Before I get started, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private personal tarot reading. I do not take payment through Instagram. Beware of fake accounts. My only real Instagram is linked directly below. Like this video, please. Subscribe to my channel and check me out on Patreon where I post my personal spells, collective spreads subliminals and so much more and other than that Pisces we are going to get into what is going on with you <clears throat> wow any other messages for Pisces okay let's get into it so first we have facing your fears. You're being challenged to do something, Pisces, and I feel this is success. Uh, look for ways to strengthen your connection between the universe and others. Stay peaceful and calm in the knowing of who you are. You're facing your fears. You're doing something that you never thought you could do. Facing your fears can even be something that's done from a more backhanded point of view. You can face your fears by allowing the universe to have control. If you're so used to controlling everything, getting things done, getting out of your masculine energy and leaving sp space, you know, to things maybe not working out is facing your fears for you. Just as an example, of course, but I, I definitely feel Pisces. You guys are facing your fears this week definitely facing your fears you know you may be that type of person where it's like things can only be done correctly or perfectly if i do it myself so you facing your fears is allowing yourself to trust someone else to be able to handle your heart correctly or get their you know share of the workload done correctly you know something like that let's actually get into this we have resilience there is no need to rush or push this is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So yeah, there's definitely a release happen here, happening here in some sort of way. There's a release happening in that you have to release the control of at least a part of the situation to some sort of higher first force. Sorry, I can't even talk. Some sort of higher force or some other person. You're having to trust some other person and be resilient and confident that this will get done correctly or something can be accomplished sorry pisces the camera cut out um but we have empower yourself tune into your personal power you are more than able to handle the situation facing you allow yourself to be strong and the beautiful person that you are capable of being so this is about remaining confident feeling like you are worthy there's so much happening all at once and I just get this message of it takes like a village like it takes a team and it's like you're on this team it, it feels very much so like Avenger-esque like you're on this team of Avengers and you have to trust that you're valuable you have to trust that you have the power to handle the situation that you're worthy of being in these spaces single-mindedness this one says, choose your own path and what is best suited for you. So yeah, this is about doing your own thing, being confident that you have the ability to do your part and that you have done your part. If there's something that you've been manifesting, you have to be confident that you've already invested the amount of work that you needed to invest. And once you do that, um, you have to be confident you know, that you've done that. And then last, we have persistent drive. Pisces, I get a message of completion here. Um, see what you desire and move towards that goal. It is time to zero in on your purpose. Use your intuition and your instincts to guide you for the optimal outcome. So tapping into this energy, you're really going to have to trust yourself. You're really going to have to know yourself. Wow. All right, let's see what else we get. the messages for Pisces what does Pisces need to know yeah there's just this doubtful energy I get this energy Pisces where you feel like you're somehow some way going to get screwed over or you're not going to end up on the brighter side of the situation there's definitely a lack of faith in self here you know I feel like for some of you 
you may have like a group of friends or your family may be telling you this is what you need to do this is what you need to pursue this and this and this like there's all this outside advice to the point where now you're dependent on other people to tell you what's going to happen or what's possible for you you haven't tapped into your own divinity you haven't tapped into your own um internal wisdom yeah the hermit just came out there's a lot of doubt here for some of you I'm getting a message where there's someone who's really been testing your patience and you're standing up to them. Whether it's your boss, your manager, your partner, or the person you're in a situationship with, King of Cups in Reverse is extremely mediocre. That's someone wanting to get all the respect and accolade of being a divine masculine energy, but not being a divine masculine. You know, like for an example, this is someone who wants to get treated like they're the best thing in the world, yet they're not paying the bills. They're not holding their weight. Why would I be at home cooking and cleaning for you when you're, I'm still paying half the rent? You're a roommate. I'm not doing, don't get me started. I'll start. I get to cuss it and going on and see YouTube don't like that. But I just get this mediocre energy and someone is, is half, you know, half doing their job. And it's like the universe is like, okay, Ugh, there's so many messages. It's so layered because there's a lot of duality in your spread. On one end, you have to trust that. And I think the trust goes into the universe. Trust that the universe will fix your situation. Trust that the universe will replace this person. Trust that the universe will provide for you and tap into your single-mindedness. Yeah. Because there's also someone who's not doing their part. And you have to stand up to them. And some of you guys are afraid to speak your mind because you don't want to lose this person. And it's like, you're not going to lose them. You're, you're the plug at this point. You know, you're providing them the stability, the happiness, the love that they need. They're getting everything that they want from the situation. So, you know, they, they probably will compromise a bit so that they don't, you know, lose you. Because once they lose you, Pisces, they're going to have like nothing. Like I just get an energy of someone... You have so much more power, but you don't see it. Queen of Wands in reverse with the Nine of Wands. You don't see that you're the Fire Queen, the Lava Queen, but you definitely are. You are Divine Feminine Energy, or at least you're in your Divine Feminine bag right now. And um, Nine of Wands, like, this is, like I was saying, I was getting cycle completion. Like, seriously, you light the way. It's hard for you guys to trust that this will be replaced and the universe is telling you to break free from something or someone. And it's it's it definitely a leap of faith. There's an element of being alone here. And maybe that's your fear, loneliness. But we have the sun in reverse and the justice card in reverse. So all I know is that this current cir circumstance ain't it. This ain't it. Period. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of doubt, a lot of fear. It's at the bottom of the deck. Seven of Swords. Any other messages for Pisces? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I get a, uh, an energy of acting as if, allowing the universe to gift you something. There's something in the way of you being abundant, Pisces. And facing your fears is separating from that. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. So it's your job to just prepare for the future and not allowing yourself to be held back by anyone or anything. Because there's definitely someone or something in your path that's holding you back. And you're afraid that you won't find new love. outside of the situation but at the same time there's no love here for real or you're not getting what you want as the way you know the way things are so you either need to have this conversation or completely let go look at this we have unrequited love we have released your ex we have expressed your love action oriented energy you definitely have to communicate what it is you're thinking and feeling because we also have this soulmate energy here so it's not that it can't work at all but you're gonna have to face your fears Release your ex in unrequited love. The truth of the matter is you're not happy right now. And you can sit in this energy and fear that if you say something that, you know, you won't get what you want out of the situation. But you're also not getting what you want now. So you have to do it. 
you might as well do it. You guys, you don't have to, but you might as well. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy is what it says at the bottom of that one. At the bottom of unrequited love, it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So that's definitely an energy of hmm, acknowledging the truth of the situation. And our current state, we're not, I don't, I don't see that Pisces, you're fully fulfilled. And you have to walk towards an energy that is going to fulfill you truly. Express your love and soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate is what it says at the bottom of that card, but that is not an excuse to deal with anyone's BS, period, Pisces. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And it is romantic to have conversations. There's still romance here because you're saying, I value you enough to the point that I'm going to take the steps that are required to make our relationship better. There is an element of romance there. There is romance in speaking your truth because you're saying, I'm willing to fight for this. And the only way that this ends well is if we have this conversation. Let go of control issues and retreat. At the bottom of retreat, it says it's time to disconnect from the world. Let go of control issues. It's funny. We were talking about that in the beginning of the spread. Um, allow the situation to unfold naturally is what it says at the bottom. I hate how these some of these cards are worded because that makes it seem like, you know, going with the flow is also making moves sometimes. So letting go of control issues, allowing the situation to unfold naturally is also about following your intuitive nudges. Like if you're on a date with someone, you're feeling the vibes and you're like, you know what? This would be a great moment for us to have a little smooch. Allowing the situation to unfold naturally in that situation would be to say, okay, let me go in for, for the kiss. Let me, let me surrender to the situation. That's what I'm being guided to do. Everything is lining up. This feels, you know, great and everything is right. Allowing yourself to do that. So it's sometimes going with the flow is taking action. See what else we have for you. The whole deck wanted to fall. Let's see. What are the other messages for Pisces? Yeah, we have flexible. We have a change in the wind. Message in a bottle. That is all about communication. Any other messages and then we have yin i feel like you guys the majority of you are ignoring your divine feminine energy your feminine energy actually wants to speak up for itself and communicate how it is you're feeling something has changed within you and it's just like you know what i'm not completely happy or content at this point things are feeling misaligned we have flexible message in a bottle. That's definitely a prompt for communication. Also being flexible with your communication. Like if your partner doesn't respond well to, you know, the way you typically lead conversations, try a different approach. Oof, we have reunion of souls. So for some of you, someone is coming back from the past and it's like a showdown. You know, it's 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 giving me very much so, yeah, we have grounding. Like, there's this big full circle moment. I, I was surprised I actually didn't get, like, any tens. Because I really felt like, well, we got a nine, which is cycle completion as well. But I thought I would get some tens here. For some of you, someone is coming back from the past and you're being asked to be honest about what it is that you felt went wrong in the situation or what it is your true opinion is. Because for some of you, someone's coming back to apologize for how things ended, what happened, what went down. And you're just saying, yeah, thank you for the apology. And you're not getting off your chest what you wished you would have said. You know, Pisces, those are the worst moments. Like, you know, you get an argument with someone and you're like, or there's someone that's rude to you at a store. And you go home and you're in the shower and you're like, I wish I would have said this and this and this and this and that. Don't allow this opportunity to pass you by. Speak your truth. 
reunion of souls and grounding. So for some of you, you're being reunited with someone and the universe is saying, this is an opportunity for you to speak your truth. Go ahead and do that. Ground yourself now so that you can, you know, write down what it is that you want to say. Wow. We have inner journey and honoring your journey. So you've learned so much up until this point. You don't have to be rude. You know, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to do the most. You don't have to break someone down. You know, you don't have to be mean. But there is definitely an energy of someone needing to know how they impacted you. The apology, you realize, is for their benefit. They're already set free by apologizing. Set yourself free by saying what it is that you truly wished you would have said or what you need to say because after they apologize they're off the hook they feel good they feel great i did something wrong to someone i apologize for it i'm released so you can choose to stay in this cycle or you can release yourself as well it is up to you we have sacred space and retreat so for some of you you need to create a space of comfortability where you can speak up some shadow work needs to be done for some of you as well we have changes in divine timing. It had to happen this way. This is an opportunity. Like there's definitely a change in the wind, which we did get. And you're going to have to be flexible with it. You may not be ready to have this conversation, but the time is now. <coughs> time is of the essence. And you need to take your opportunity. Let's see what else we got going on. Navigating by the stars and in the flow. Follow your bliss. Everything is smooth sailing. So I feel like this conversation is going to go a lot easier than you think. I had to cancel an appointment the other day and I was so anxious when I was calling. I was getting ready with everything that I was going to say when they gave me pushback. But they allowed me to cancel the appointment just fine. They didn't give me any, a push, any pushback at all. It went quite smoothly. And I feel like you guys are afraid to speak your truth. Afraid, afraid to speak up for yourself because you're afraid of the pushback that you're going to get. But this is going to go a lot easier than you think. Uncovering treather, treasure and choose your path. All is possible is what it says at the bottom of choosing your path. So you have the ability to move on or you have the ability to go through life still moving on. But in that woulda, coulda, shoulda energy, like I wish I would have said this and this and that. I did this and this and that. Uncovering tre treasure beneath the surface lies great bounty. That is sweet release, you guys. And then we have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life is what it says at the bottom of that one. So I see success for you, Pisces, but you are going to have to invest in this. Invest in yourself and speak your truth. And that was your message. Uh, check me out on Etsy in the description below if you'd like your own private personal tarot reading. My only Instagram account is linked directly below. I will never reach out to you first. Beware of fake pages. If it's not linked directly below, it is not me. Don't even have to ask. It is not me, I guarantee you. Um, and yeah, that was your message, Pisces. Like this video, please. I appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel if you feel called to. And that was your message. I love you. Be careful what you wish for. And I will see you in the next one.